Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful bracelet that consists of small beaded heart out of seed beads and crystals. It's really easy to make, I will show you step by step and I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you will be able to make it. So if you want to support me and make me do more videos, you could do several things. Just subscribe for my channel and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And also you could like, share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of your questions in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page uh, that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. Don't forget that when you like, share and comment, you help me so much. Thank you. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what you're going to need are three colors of 11-0 seed beads, faceted crystals that are 8 by 6 millimeters long, and I need size 10 beading needle, monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters, here is a clasp, a lobster's claw, and I'm using a jump ring, you could use any type of clasp you want. I'm using my flat nose pliers to squeeze my monofilament to go through size 10 beading needle and I'm using scissors. And now I will take um, about 2 feet of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, and these 2 feet of thread are about 60 centimeters and it might be a little too long but it's better to be long than to be sorry. Okay, now I'm going to start by taking four white seed beads and I'm sliding them down. Okay, then I want to go through all of them one more time, just like that. And now I want to make a knot here. Okay, and I'm taking my tail thread, making something like a loop and going twice through it, and then I'm pulling. And when I pull, I have this, okay? Now, what I want to do is go through my following bead, just like that. And now, I want to take three pink seed beads and I'm going back in circle through the same bead that my thread is exiting out of. In my next step I will go through the following white okay, just like that and here I'm going to take one blue bead and two pink beads okay, like that and when I go back through this white one in fact, again, I have a circle of four beads, okay, and this is called right angle weave. Then I will go through this blue one and I'm pulling because I want to have a really tight work. And I will take three beads again, three pink beads, and I'm going back through this blue one just like that in circle. Okay, and I have this going through the next pink and through the next one. And what I want to do is exit from this side. But I don't want my thread to show. That is why I'm going around my elements like that. Oops, I went through this pink one. I I will go back and in fact my goal is to exit here out of this white one without my thread showing anywhere okay just like that and then what I need are two pinks and one one blue bead okay like that and I'm going back in circle through this white one just like that. Now I'm going to flick my work because it's easier for me to work in this direction. You see when I flip what I have. The two sides of my work are almost identical. 
okay then I want to go out of this pink bead uh, sorry blue bead and I'm going to take three pink beads and I'm going back in circle like I did before and making an element of four beads okay now this is what I have this is something like a heart and now I want to take one pink bead and as I'm exiting from this pink here I want to go here in the center through the white one okay then I'm going to take one more pink going here then I will skip this one and the following one I will take just one pink bead and then I will go through these two pinks connecting them okay then I will take one pink and I will go through here you see how my heart shape is forming then I'll go through the following bead and I'm going to take one pink bead and go through the following two pinks like I did at the other side of my work and then I'm going to take just one pink bead okay and now my heart is almost ready I just have to make some knots and finish it okay and how I'm making my knots okay here I make a loop between those two beads and I'm going twice through the loop I've made and then I pull and after that I'm going through my next pink bead just like that okay then in my next step I'm going to cut my tail thread just like that and my main thread and really two feet is uh, or 60 centimeters it's a long thread you could start with smaller thread okay and in my next step I'm going to repeat the same step here but with a longer thread okay I did one more heart but here I didn't cut my thread and I have this longer thread and now I will show you how to make this cute components that my heart consists of okay this is absolutely the same thing but just I didn't cut my thread and now I'm exiting out of this pink one here and in my next step I'm going to take one of my crystals faceted crystals or rondelles and I'm taking two seed beads then I will go through my crystal okay now I have this you see then I'm going to take two more seed beads and I'm going here through the same bead but from the other side of course here I need some fixing because this crystal should stay in the middle with even tension of my thread and now what I want to do is go through all of those beads and exit here out of my white one okay and I'm going here through this white one and with this step my half of my element is ready and now I'm going to take one uh, pink bead and two white beads and I'm going to take my other heart okay and I will go like that through the same beads 
of my next heart, okay? Now, I'm going to go around here through my heart. And my goal is to exit out of the other side of it. Because I want to connect it from this side as well. Okay. Now you see what I have. And I'm going to take two white seed beads and one pink bead, just like that. And I'm going through these two white beads. Okay. And when I pull, I have this element ready. But now I want to make this element the first or the starting element of my bracelet. That is why I will attach my ear wire to it. Okay. In order to do this, I'm going through all of my beads here. And I'm exiting out of this pink bead here. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my ear wire. And I will take two white beads. Go through it. Just like that. Then I'm going to take two more white beads and I will go back in circle through this bead here in the center of my work. And now I'm going to reinforce this circle that I just did. Okay. And now, what I want to do is go around with my thread and I want to exit here at this side of my element. Okay, and I'm exiting here. And now I have other elements prepared. You see? I prepared them and I cut my thread the same way that I showed you when I was making my first heart. I'm making the heart, then I'm making some knots and cutting my thread. The same way I cut the thread and now I did these elements. And now I'm going to connect this one to this one. Okay. And I will do this by taking one white bead. I'm taking my next element. And I'm going around in circle. Through this one here. Taking just one more. And I'm connecting them this way. You see what I have? And now I'm going to reinforce this connection here by going around several times. Okay, and I will continue doing this. I will go out of this element, then I will attach my next one. And another thing I want to show you is how to add more thread when your thread is over. And I will be here in a while. Okay guys, and now my thread is almost over. You see how short it is and I can't continue this way. That is why I'm going to make some knot, cut it and I will add a new thread. Okay, here I'm making a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through the loop I've made. And I'm pulling. Then I will go through my next seed bead. 
and after that I will cut my thread and now I will put a new thread on my needle and I'll be back ok guys and now I have a new longer thread on my needle and here I'm going to go through some beads just like that I'm leaving a small tail here I'm holding it with my fingers now I'm making a loop here you see between two beads I'm making it then what I want to do is go once and then go second time through the loop I've made and then I pull then I will go here at the top and I will attach my next element but before that I will cut my tail thread and I will continue adding more and more elements and when I'm ready I will be back to show you how to finish your bracelet ok guys and when I continue beading this is what I have I have seven elements connected and now I'm going to show you how to finish your bracelet so here is my jump ring and what I'm going to take are five white seed beads here I have my five and I will take my jump ring and I will go back through this element here okay this is what I have now off camera I'm going to reinforce this joint several more times and I'll be back to show you how to make your knots okay and I reinforced this part I used my pliers to go through some of the beads okay <clears throat> and I didn't want to make you watch me struggle going through them okay and now I'm going to make a knot the same way I showed you before and I will cut my thread so I'm making a loop once and second time pulling and then I will go through my next bit and cut my thread and if you want you could do more knots just to be sure that everything will be all right with your bracelet okay and now guys my bracelet is ready so if you like it and if you want to see more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my next upcoming videos and if you want to support me and to make me do more and more tutorials like share and comment and I'll, I'll answer to all of your questions in the comments and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations thank you so much for watching bye bye from me